The results are out. Let's talk about what to do next. Hi there and welcome to Team Laka where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And I'm hoping na kung maaga-aga nyo yung na-discover ang channel na ito ay isa kayo sa 47,499 passers dito sa August 2024 civil service exam. Now, that may not seem like a lot considering na 329,000 plus yung nag-take ng exam. Pero ang passing rate na nasa 14.4% ngayon is not something to be sad about kasi I remember uh, when I first started, mga nasa 11%. 12%, ganun lang yung mga passers, no? And uh, I remember hoping and wishing that even more people succeed dito sa goal na ito. So, uh, if you're one of those na nakapasa na, I'm going to be talking to you about your next steps. If hindi kayo nakapasa this time, kapag uusapan din natin yung next steps. And if you're interested to take the civil service exam for the first time or again, pag-uusapan din natin yan. Okay? So, stick around. Now, una doon sa mga passers natin, if you pass the sub-professional level exam, I strongly encourage you to take the professional level exam next time. Hindi sabihin noon, mag-start ang uh, applications, I think, around November for the March 2025 exam. Mag-file na kayo for the professional level exam. Now, I know baka pagod kayo kasi di ba nag-review kayo for the subprof tapos kakapasa ko lang mag-exam na naman ako and i say yes kasi mas maganda na mag-exam na right away habang hindi niyo pa nakakalimutan di ba concepts na napag-usapan natin before subject verb agreement itong mga math concepts na ni-review ninyo ang tendency kasi if you stop is you forget these things alam niyo yung use it or lose it that's very true and I've also met uh, my share of people na kumuha ng sa professional exam, tapos nak nakampante, alam niyo yun kasi nakakuha na ng item kahit papaano. Tapos 5 years after, 10 years after, doon nila susubukan mo professional level exam. And by that point, they're a little bit older, they're a little bit uh, more ano ba, busy, kasi syempre marami ng responsibilidad sa trabaho, may mga anak and stuff like that. So I would really encourage you to take the next level exam right away. Okay? So yun, congratulations on passing the subprof. Prof naman next, kaya magsasama pa tayo. Now, kung pasado naman kayo ng professional level exam, congratulations. I guess we're done. And um, ang next step na, of course, is to find opportunities kung hindi pa kayo nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno right now. Now, marami namang mga job postings, job fairs, even for government posts. I would encourage you to go and pursue them. Uh, sa aking... Uh, experience no sa mga kwento rin ng mga team like members getting a spot sa government office can be challenging uh, aminin natin di ba limited ang slots pero with a lot of boomers if i could say that no the generation ng ating mga magulang retiring or uh, alam niyo leaving marami pa ring opening pero patsagaan ang pagkuha ng item sa gobyerno Hindi siya pagalingan, sadly. Uh, maraming masasabi natin na mas magagaling, mga may loud pa and stuff like that, na hindi na chachaga yung proseso na matagal. Uh, some of the stories that uh, were shared to me ay yung nagsubmit sila ng um, application and it took six months, minsan even longer para ma-interview or para makapag-exam sila ng intake exam. Now, talking about that, no, yung job application exam sa different government agencies, huwag niyo munang kalimutan yung mga konseptong maaral ninyo sa review ng civil service dahil some of these concepts, word problems, logic problems, possible silang lumabas din dun sa test na yon. So, keep your mind sharp. Okay? Kung meron naman ng item o kaya kung part na ng gobyerno, LGU man yan o GOCC o kung saan man kayo nagtatrabaho, it's best if you inform your HR right away na pasado na kayo ng civil service exam. I-update ninyo ang employee data ninyo para ready na kayo for the next opening ng promotion, regularization sa inyong trabaho. Okay? Let them know and celebrate this moment. Overall, if pumasa kayo, I encourage you to really remember this moment. Um, honor the fact that you tried and succeeded. Yung mga nagsakripisyo dyan, alam ko may ibang nag-message na sa akin ng mga magulang na ano yun, hintay pa kayo matulog yung mga anak ninyo bago kayo mag-aral. That's really going to be part of your journey. And sa mga challenging times ahead, it's a good memory to look back on sa bagay na mahirap 
challenging, kailangan pagtsagaan, pero eventually, na-achieve ninyo. May mga moments sa buhay na binabalikan ko yung mga struggles ko in my past, thinking na, okay, kung kinaya ko yun, kakayanin ko din tong susunod na challenge na ito. So, just enjoy the moment. Now, a bit of a warning though. Uh, I'm hoping na hindi naman kayo yung mga taong ganito, pero nakikita ko pa rin every now and then sa social media, yung mga nagpo-post ng easy lang naman yan, uh, madali lang naman yan, hindi naman ako nag-review, kahit tambay naman talaga dito, huwag naman sana kayong dumagdag doon. Okay? Now, I'm not asking for you to acknowledge me or the other people na nag-ambag sa pag-aaral ninyo. That's not the point of this conversation. What I'm trying to say is try to be sensitive then sa mga tao na nahirapan sa exam. Na huwag tayong masyadong mayabang. Kumbaga, uh, kung na-achieve nyo man itong eligibility na hindi kayo nag-effort, maging sensitive dun sa mga tao na 10 years nang nagtitake, multiple times nang nagtitake at hindi pumapasa. ba? Kasi pwede ka lang mag-celebrate ng pagkapasa mo nang hindi mo sila pinuput down. So, siguro yung mga statement lang na na parang hindi naman ako nag-review, pero kumasa ako, ang dali lang naman yan. Even if it's true, and I know for a fact that it could be true, no? Na hindi ka mag-review at pumasa ka, or even mag-top ka. Um, hindi ito yung tamang time, sabi na natin, for you to post that or boast about it. So, just be sensitive. I'm hoping na maintindihan nyo na ang message na to is for you to be kind to people. Kasi it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't cost a lot for you to be kind to those who didn't make it this time. So, by all means, post, encourage them, tell them kung ano yung mga nagtumulong sa inyo, mga study tips ninyo, ano yung nag-work for you. Encourage the people around you. I'm all for that. But just yung mga ganong comments lang, maging ano lang tayo, mabait, no? At mabuti na rin. Hindi naman masama yun. Hindi naman din mahirap yun. Okay? So, from that, we're moving to the people who didn't make it this time. Now, I know masakit, and sa totoo lang medyo... Na off ako na 12 noon or lunch time on a Tuesday of all days ni release yung test results. I was hoping na kung lalabas man siya sana gabi at sana rin kung pwede Friday para at least may weekend yung iba sa inyo to process yung kanilang pagbagsak sa exam. Pero dahil nga nangyari siya ng weekday, a lot of you nasa trabaho, alam niyo yun, hindi ka pa makapag-grieve, hindi ka pa malungkot ng properly, tapos kailangan mong bumalik sa trabaho. It's going to be challenging for you. So, I'm hoping that you still find it in you to believe in yourself kahit na hindi ka pumasa this time. Kasi, again, a lot of the people who passed, sila mismo nagsasabi sa inyo na hindi sila pumasa right away. It took them, yung iba some of them, five times na nagsumubok, ten times, even more. So, please be kind to yourself. Okay? Um, minsan, hindi siya about you not knowing things. Minsan, mali ang shading ng, alam niyo yun, yung application na, o yung test booklet ninyo, hindi nakamatch sa answer or sheet ninyo. Minsan, technicality. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung dahilan ka ba't hindi kayo pumasa. But, it's best, honestly, if you still find out kung ano yung score ninyo, kung saan subject kayo mababa, saan kayo mataas. Kasi kung plano ninyo na mag-retake for next year, sa so March 2025, maganda kung alam ninyo kung saan kayo mas weak na subject. Now, why am I saying that? I know malungkot pa ngayon, and pwede kayo magpahinga, as in, by all means, like, iiyak nyo muna yan, um, relax ka muna, magpahinga ka muna. Pero if ready ka nang sumubok ulit, mas maganda na mag-aral ng mga bagay na mahirap para sa'yo, habang mas mahaba pa yung oras. Ano yung ibig sabihin ko dito? If nakita niyo yung score niyo, mababa ka sa math, uh, mas maganda if kung mag exam kayo ng March 2025, magsimula na kayo as soon as possible to brush up on the math concepts. And of course, we have a lot of videos for you which will take you from the beginning, no? yung mga number theory pa lang, prime and composite numbers, factoring and stuff like that, hanggang dun sa mas komplikadong mga tanong. So, Yun, magsimula na mag-aral as soon as possible. Pero syempre, pwedeng malungkot, pwedeng uh, magtampo ng konti, di ba? Na parang, Lord, bakit ganito? Hindi ako pumasa. Pero, uh, as you go through that, I'm hoping that you find inspiration in those na nakapasa ng multiple takes. Kasi kung kinaya nila, hopefully, di ba, kakayanin nyo rin. At andito naman ako, my team and I will still be here. Hopefully, creating more content, holding more live streams, for uh, the preparation para sa March 2025 exam. Okay? 
Now, speaking of that, ano ba yung mga plano ko, ng team ko, to help you prepare better for the 2025 exam season? Yeah, we'll be doing more live streams, hopefully, um, as soon as possible. Honestly, naghahanda na ako, nag na ako ng content para magawa ko yun, para sa inyo gabi-gabi. Um, I'm going to be releasing some worksheets, free quizzes, and stuff like that. If you're interested in the online review program, we are going to start really soon. And of course, you can message us on our Facebook page to find out more about that, the other programs we offer, your other options, kung gusto ninyo ng mas detailed na pag-aaral for the March 2025 exam. Last time, meron kaming batch 15. So yeah, 15 batches na po ang ating online review program. And a lot of them are really excited about the results. I'm really excited for them as well. So I'm hoping na itong batch 16, if you're willing to join, we could uh, produce even more content for, for you. So yes, um, anong difference ng online review program at yung mga nanonood ng free content natin? Diba? I always say dito sa Team Laika, um, pagdating sa paid programs and sa workbooks natin, sa practice test booklets natin, ang nangyayari is those who buy the books, those who join the online review program, they help me by giving us resources so I can produce more of the free content. And in turn, they also have exclusive content, exclusive, exclusive explainer videos, exclusive techniques that they learn through the online review program and the workbooks and the practice tests. Now, kailangan nyo bang bumili ng practice test booklet? Kailangan nyo, now, kailangan nyo bang bumili ng books? Kailangan nyo bang sumali sa paid program para pumasa? Hindi naman. Pero if you do that, know that you are able to help so many other people because you're the ones who make it possible for me to make the free content, have scholars, support other people, give away books to multiple regions, multiple schools. Bahagi kayo ng ginagawa natin to democratize access to quality education here in the Philippines. So again, maraming salamat sa inyo. Okay? Now, again, we're just beginning. We have more um, lessons coming up, more live stream adult sessions coming up. So, if you don't want to miss any of those, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, kasi magsisimula na tayo ng live stream sessions natin that you apparently found really helpful really soon. So, yan, makita-kita tayo sa susunod. At kung pumasa naman na rin kayo, um, maybe share uh, yung ginagawa natin dito with your friends, yung mga katrabaho ninyo. Hopefully, sila naman ang manood ng videos, sila naman yung pumasa next time. And punuin natin ang government agencies ng mga tao na may alam, may pakialam at nakikialam ng mga tao na hindi tumatanggap ng suhol, ng lagay, hindi korap, hindi nagbibigay ng special treatment sa kung sino-sino. Sana, as we always say, may all those who deserve to pass sila ang pumasa. Yun naman ang wish ko. And if you know in your heart that you want to do good, please remember that I will always be here for you virtually man, kahit hindi live, I will try my very best to help you achieve that goal na makuha mo yung government position. Kung gusto mo mag-polis, kung gusto mo mag-bombero, kung gusto mo mag-coast guard, kung ano man ang paraan ng paglilingkod sa bayan na gusto niyong gawin, hanggat kaya ko, hanggat kaya ng team ko, hanggat may resources kami to do it, we will be here for you. Yun lang mapapangako ko. Yan muna for now, and as you always say, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.